this was Yasmin's Learning Belly Dance on how to make your belly dance felt. Now, I uh, left off last time explaining to you about sewing the base of your bra, of your belt. So, I actually did pre-sewing from the video, so I wasn't taking up a lot of time with this song. So the piece I showed you previously was just the whole thing opened up and it was 10 inches down, okay? So 10 inches long. So I folded already like I said I would and I began to sew along the whole line. As you can see right here, I sewed all the way. You could do single stitch or multi-stitch where you go in and out and in out and out stitch, okay? Um, this material I used, um, you could get it at your fabric store, of course. It's up to you what kind of material you want to use. I'm using a dance material. It's actually called like a dance material. Um, for dance clothing. Uh, so, that being said, it has a somewhat of a suede feel to this, which can be difficult to go through, so get a strong base needle with a good point on it, so it won't have too much problem going through. So I started on one end and sewed all the way down, it's all hand sewed. You can use a sewing machine if you would like. I prefer to do a lot of things by hand, as a hands-on type, of course. So, I left one part that I didn't sew is to give you a detailed explanation on how I did it. I had pins all the way along the line as to keep the line straight. As I sewed and I would pull out my pins here. I would pull out a pin as I go, went past it. And I used the brown thread to match the material. And you have to really watch your thread when you're purchasing your thread. So you don't want something that's so weak that it snaps and breaks. So you may come across that issue, but you can always just double stitch over that or switch off to a different type of thread. So that being said, I have the base of the belt done. Now I went and went ahead and did the attachment piece. So this piece here, I added on the tie. Now this is the before the tie, the actual connection of the belt is done and when it's on. So you see here how I added on the ring that we talked about previously. Remember the rings? So what I did here is I took the ring, put it up against the material, and I actually folded. After I sewed the bottom part of the belt, I went on the back side of the belt, which the part that would be facing, that would be laying against the skin or hips. Um, I folded a piece over, lapping the ring within it. So you're folding the material over the ring to hold it. Then I sewed a closure area here to keep the ring, but it still would slide some. So what I did was is I did a second stitching down the other side of it. And you don't have to worry about your stitches showing. You don't have to worry about that so much. Because once you add all your embellishments and or trims, um, you won't see that as much. And that's also another reason why you want to use a color base to do a color to the base of the belt. So, going on that. So, you want to start with the base of that before you put anything on. You want to sew. If you do a half, because I always do it because it gives it a more durable feel instead of just a flat one-sided um, material, so I fold it down and sew that there, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the second ring on, and I'll show you how I add the ring on. There's different ways for people to do this. I do it the most simple, basic way when I'm making just the base of the belt, okay? Now, the way I do that is, see, this part here I still have undone from the sewing, so we'll finish that off really quickly. I have black thread in here right now. I'm just going to go ahead and use that. So I'm going to start here sewing the rest of the base, the bottom base of the belt. And watch those little pins. They can be tricky. They've had sticky leather in there. So you want to watch your hands. I've been stuck with the pins plenty of times, but I've gotten used to it. So they kind of just, you know, try to hold your cursing back because you're so annoyed by it. So I'll pull that pin out. Pull the thread through. doing a one stitch where I push it through and then pull the 
I'm gonna go back through. I'm doing like a multi-stitch here. Okay, just push. Like I said, you're gonna have a strong needle. And mostly two because the gathering of the material as you're pulling. So you pull, pull, pull. And of course, the type of I have is to have fringe hanging at the bottom. So you want to wash your thread and not get it hooked up in any fringe you may have at the bottom of your material or fabric. Like I said, the fabric is your choice, of course. If you have any questions about fabric types to use, you can always leave me a comment on the video. Um, a lot of different ways to make your belt. A lot of people go and get um, a base of leather. They prefer leather, something a little sturdy to stay. Uh, some people also will cut corners, and uh, which is fine because sometimes you can find a cheaper way to make your belt. Uh, and that would be, some people use the base of a jean, like the top waist part of jeans, rather it be a jean skirt or and or pants. So you can actually use that base, cut it in and cover it with your favorite uh, fabric, so to speak. So pull that pin out so it won't stick me finish this off since I already have my placement of where the material is going to be. So, and that's going to look a little rough, so I'm just going to do two stitches on that one. Pull through. And try to keep it even. And push and stitch. Push through. Stitch. Push through. And stitch. And I always uh, tell people to keep a little notebook and, and pen when you're doing these designs, so that way you can make notes, of course. You can also write down previously before you go shopping, look online, search around, see what kind of materials you want to use, use references and such, and that way you'll have something to go off of when you do go to the fabric store to shop for the material and um, embellishments and trims, of course. So, this belt is not going to have, it's not going to be heavy. Now, you have to be careful also what kind of material you use when you're going to depending on what you're putting on the belt, let's say. This one has a lot more different materials on it, so nothing to drag down drag down the material that's the base of the belt. That's why a lot of people use leather. Leather isn't the easiest thing to work with, of course, because it's a rough type of fabric and material, more or less. Not really fabric as much as a material. So I'm just going to sew this off here. Lock that, lock up three, push through, and pull, okay. Now you want to clip that off real quick, clip. All right, now, of course, I'm going to relock my thread and a knot at the bottom. Now, once you have that done, you want to match up this side. So what I did here is I fold and fold. It's going to fold here and fold. Like that, okay? So you want to make this shape here, like that. See how that's done? So I'm folding there. And when I fold those, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the needle and I'm going to sew those two ends together, okay? That could be a quick stitch on that because you're going to, you're going to relap over that with once you get the, the ring on, of course. So you'll be getting the ring on there and then sewing again laughing so that takes a little bit of time getting the ring on so you want to make sure it's on correctly though okay and this is one way to make a belt this is more of a tribal style uh, but this will give you an idea rather no matter what your style of um, costuming may be an idea to start more or less with your sewing and such okay so again just quick stitching Material together there so the way it has its shape. You want it to match. So pull through one more time. There. And we're going to lock it. Well, I wasn't sewing too fast for you there, but it's pretty easy to see what I'm doing. Disconnecting, just connect, connecting those two pieces, two flaps together really quickly. Pull that through. Like I said, the silly fringe will get in the way quite often, which may even piss you off a little bit. So, but 
take your time with it. You don't want to mess up your thread. And if you ever mess up while sewing the thread, you can always just clip it and start over again. You always want to make sure it's secure. However, you don't want to leave that because you don't want your pocket coming apart. So you see how I did that with the gathering there. And then what you do is you take the ring here and you pull the material over that right there. See that? I'm just going to take some pins real quick and pull the pins through in order to hold the material in place. See? Just like that. Alright, and then you have your belt coming together quite well, and what you would do is make a tying mechanism right between these two rings in order to keep the belt in one. Okay? So next time you see this belt, we will have on some more trims and the like. So later this week, yeah, we'll see that, and you'll see the finished product even more later this week. Thanks for watching. This has been Yasmin's Learning Belly Dance, How to Make Your Belly Dance Belt.